on your healing journey, understand that the pathological narcissist behavior has nothing to do with you. Because oftentimes when we leave these toxic entanglements, we were gaslit for months or even years. And gaslighting is one of the many manipulation tactics that pathological narcissists use to group their victims to tolerate abuse and inappropriate behavior. And gaslighting essentially is twisting someone's reality to get them to question their sanity. So after narcissistic abuse, you really are on a journey of rediscovering yourself, of reconnecting with spirit, clearing your mind, letting go of negative emotions and rebuilding your will. So understand that the narcissist behavior truly has nothing to do with you. You are interacting with a insane individual. And if you could go back and be like a fly on a wall and kind of have a bird's eye view of what you were going through, you will truly see that their behavior had nothing to do with you. So you were the target, sure, but their behavior has nothing to do with you because you really were dealing with someone that is losing their mind. These individuals really have lost their marbles because when you're dealing with a pathological narcissist, you're dealing with someone that has severe psycho-spiritual arrested development. So at the spirit level, we're talking about self-abandonment. We're talking about dissociation where these, dis where these individuals disconnected from their true selves in childhood. And at the psychological level, at the soul level, at the level of the personality, then these individuals are losing control of their minds. They are losing control of their emotions because they're based in shame and they cannot move past their pride. And when it comes to their will, well, they're very impulsive and or compulsive individuals. So clinicians will call this a personality disorder, or you may hear me refer to them as lost souls or dark souls. Because understand that spirit is light. It is source. It is source energy. And these individuals abandoned their source in childhood. So their lights are very dim, very similar to when your phone is running on like 5% battery life. And when your phone is running low on battery power, you'll see where you can't really open the apps the same. You know, the apps load very slowly. You may be trying to watch a video and the videos are just lagging because again, the phone doesn't have enough source. The battery power is too low to operate the tools, to operate the apps. And this is a similar equivalent to what pathological narcissists are going through. So at their core, they are black holes and black holes are dying stars. A black hole is a star that is at its end of its life cycle. So their luminosity is at about 5%. And understand that black holes consume light because they are black holes. They are dying stars. So understand that at a vibrational level, pathological narcissists are low vibrational beings. They are based in shame. Every day they wake up, they're in the first dimension. And at best, they get to the level of pride. So they get to the third dimension. However, they are unable to let go of their pride to break free from the third dimension. So pride cometh before the fall and they fall right back down to shame. And they have been in this cycle long before you came into the picture. And Einstein stated that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results and pathological narcissist people have been on this hamster wheel, this shame pride cycle since their childhood years. Again, their behavior has nothing to do with you. 
And when you truly understand this, then it makes it a lot easier to forgive yourself because it's going to be so much easier for you to let go of the gaslighting that you went through because narcissists like to blame other people for their problems. M. Scott Peck in People of the Lie wrote that evil people are people of the lie. They are lying to themselves and they will also lie to you. And understand that evil people need a scapegoat. They need someone to blame because evil people are unable to see that the problem is coming from inside the house because again, they are perfect. They cannot recognize their imperfection. So because they cannot recognize their imperfection, because again, they are unable to self-reflect because they don't have a true self and you need a true self to self-reflect, well, they're going to scapegoat other individuals because again, they believe that they are perfect and perfect people can do no wrong. So they think you are the one that is wrong. And this is the type of insanity that we're dealing with here, people. Pathological narcissism is the inability to self-reflect and they cannot self-reflect because they don't have a self. They abandon their true selves in childhood for a false self, that which we call the mask, that which we call the ego. And the ego cannot self-reflect because the ego is a false self. Hence, the ego projects. And what they will do is project all of their deep-seated insecurity and darkness and trauma and turmoil that they have within them. That is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with someone with a golem spirit. So in pathological narcissist state, for example, that nobody likes you, you don't have any friends, they are talking about themselves because again, they cannot self-reflect. They are going to project. So Gollum knows that nobody likes him. He does not have any friends because Gollum is a belly crawling beast. Nobody really wants him around. Not anymore at least because Gollum devolved into Gollum because he was Smeagol before. So he was a human being before, but he lost his humanity and became a demonic creature. You are dealing with someone with a golem spirit. So physically on the outside, they may look normal, but again, behind the veil, they have severe psycho spiritual arrested development. That is what you are dealing with. And that relationship lasted as long as it did because you were carrying the relationship on your back. You were pulling your weight, but understand that pathological narcissists are dead weight because they are unable to ascend. They cannot get out of the third dimension again. They are prideful. They are ego maniacs. They are predominantly their ego. And again, they believe that they're perfect and perfect people do not need to change. So understand that your abuser wants you to adjust yourself to the abuse. And this is why they gaslight. This is why they ma manipulate. This is why they triangulate. This is why they put you in the double bind, etc. They want you to adjust yourself to the abuse. They want to go out and cheat and manipulate and triangulate you with the new supply. And they want you to sit down and shut up. That is what pathological narcissists want. They want to control you. They want your subservience. And this is the mindset of someone that did not develop past their lower ego. This is the mindset of someone that is stuck in the third dimension. This is the mindset. This is a psyche of someone that is stuck in victim abuser consciousness. Anyone that is stuck in victim abuser consciousness will have a victim abuser type of relationship with other people. Because again, this is their psyche. This is how their minds work. So understand that the narcissist behavior people has nothing to do with you. You are dealing with someone that is off their rocker. They are insane and the insane do not have sanity to give to you. And this is why it felt like things are always up and down and around and around and nothing could ever be right because nothing can ever be right because the captain abandoned the ship. The driver is in the back seat. The captain is overboard. 
So understand that the narc ship, the situation ship, that relation ship has to go down because you cannot build with a pathological narcissist because they embody destructive energy. That ship is the Titanic and it must go down because pathological narcissists are on a highway to hell and they have been headed to the sunken place again people since their childhood years. So you could be dealing with a narcissist and this individual is in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, or even elderly narcissists that are in their 60s, 70s, etc. But again, behind the veil, they stopped developing somewhere between the ages of about 5 and 12 years old. So you are dealing with Peter Pans or Patricia Pans because again, these are underdeveloped souls. So they are missing elements. And this is best summarized in a fabulous quote by healer, author, and shaman, Maladoma Patrice Somme, where he states that if you keep a person in an adolescent state, then they will act militaristically. So when we say adolescent state, then we mean a underdeveloped state, a childlike state, a childish state an unripened state, a Peter Pan-like state. And militaristically means that they're often going to be very volatile and oftentimes very violent because, again, they cannot adequately regulate their emotions. So what you will see is that pathological narcissist people are using empathetic people as a receptacle for all of their deep-seated insecurities and trauma. They are using empathetic people as an emotional tampon because, again, they cannot deal with all of these negative energies within themselves, so they have to dump it out onto someone else because, again, they are running from their shame. They're running from their pathologically low self-esteem, self-esteem so low that they probably have to look up to see it, and they get to pride, but, again, pride cometh before the fall, and they fall right back down to shame. So you're not dealing with someone that is evolving because they're not growing. And again, they're not going to grow because they're perfect. Perfect people are done growing. Hence, they are devolving. They are regressing. And you will see where these relationships get worse over time. So let's say you were in a narcissistic intimate relationship for five years. You will see where at year five, that relationship was getting worse. Because again, it is regressive. They are regressing. So understand that not everyone on planet Earth ages like wine. Everyone does not get better with time. There are people like the pathological narcissist that age like milk. So they'll curdle over time. And again, you're not going to have a pleasant experience with these kind of people because they're not growing. They're done growing. Hence, These prideful people, these ego maniacs will want you to adjust yourself to the abuse because they're in victim abuser consciousness. That is the mindset of people that are stuck in the third dimension. So it is important that you get the courage to walk away and stay away. It is important that you get the courage to walk away and heal. So if you need help on your healing journey, healing is absolutely possible, but you have to get accurate information and then you need to take action on that information. So go ahead and take the courageous first step and reach out for a one-on-one session. If you are encountering narcissists after narcissists after narcissists after narcissists, then there is some information that you need, right? There are some blind spots that you have. So in these sessions, we'll patch those vulnerabilities again so that you can attract healthy and wholesome people and experiences into your life. You really should not be dealing with these narcissistic, toxic, abusive individuals forever. So again, if you are encountering too many of these individuals, there is some information that you need to know. And we can clear all of this up in these one-on-one sessions. And that really is the message for today, kind folks. Ensure that you get the courage to walk away and stay away 
So go complete no contact if you have no business with the pathological narcissist. Again, if you do not have any children to separate, if you do not have any assets and so on, you should be going no contact. You blow the bridge up. And for those of you that have children with a narcissist, you know, you may have assets and so on, then you should be going low contact. So you're going to be gray rocking as best as you can. So what you do is you pull the supply source and understand that you are the supply. You are feeding the beast. So starve the beast. Do not feed the animals. And this is because narcissists abandoned their source, their spirit in childhood people. So they have to connect to you as their new source of supply. I really do hope that you are tying all of this together. So again, pour all of your love and kindness and compassion back into yourself. And that is all you heal. If you're pouring into a pathological narcissist, you're pouring into a black hole and black holes consume light. That is all black holes are able to do. And that really is the message for today, kind folks. Ensure that you are liking these videos. Ensure that you are subscribed to the Nart Dojo channel for more empowering content. If you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. Chica is the name. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.